don't be intimidated by question like this. We can slowly, slowly digest the question, okay? So it says that uh, the area of E, E, G, C, D is 5 over 9, the area of D, F, C. So this area, okay, just let me have a quick view wrong. It's actually 5 over 9 of the area of D, F, C. This is my first information. Okay? So let me just write down. E, G, C, D. It's actually 5 over 9 of D, F, G. So this 9 unit is represent what? D, F, C, right? So it means that if this 9, this D, F, C, I cut into 9 parts. The area here is actually only 5 parts. Okay, this is my first clue. My second clue is, it is also, what do you mean by it is? It is, that means it referring to this thing here. E, C, E, G, C, D. Okay. E, C, G, C, D. It is also 4 over 5 of the area of A, B, C, D. Okay. So now I'm comparing. This to this already. It's also 4 over 5 of this portion here. Okay? A, B, C, D. Which means this I cut it, this A, B, C, D I cut into 5 portion. The area of E, G, C, D is equals to 5. Uh, equals to 4 over 5. So I have another thing here. 4 over 5. This one is what? The total area of A, B, C, D, right? Okay. That means this A, B, C, D, I cut it into 5. The area of E, G, C, D is equals. Then you should know that here is, this is E, G, C, D. This is also E, G, C, D. Do you see something here? I say if it's the same, I will try to make it the same, right? Because over here is obviously not the same. Okay. Then I put this apart first, huh? I know that another clue that gave me is the area of the whole figure. The area of the whole figure is actually 492. So what is actually, what this actually means? Area of the whole figure, if you can see it properly, the whole figure is actually, you can actually see that the whole figure is actually this A, B, C, D. Area of this, correct? At the area of this. E, F, G. Okay, something is very interesting now. So I can see that the whole figure, because the area of A, B, C, D, at area of E, F, G. A lot of information, you may be confused. But then, let, let's do this portion here first. I know that form 5 must be equal to 5. 5 must be equal to 4. But how, how do I go about doing that? What I do now is, it's really not magic. You have learned this many, many times. This times 5. This times 5, and this times, uh, wait, give me a minute. Uh. Sorry, I did something wrong. Okay, since I want to make 5 and 4 the same, so I must just, uh, I will have just this one times 4, and this one, this one, we can have 5. And since up times 4, this over down also times 4. And since up times 5, this down also times 5. So what will I have? 20 over 36. It's also equals to 20 over 25. Okay. So can I draw something now? 
yes, I can draw something now with this new figure because I know that EGCD is equals EGCD. So I run the first one, 20 unit over here. And over here is 16 unit. 16 unit. So E G C D okay. So here is also twenty twenty unit E G C D and over here is five five unit okay okay so you actually know that this whole thing here right thirty six this whole thing here is actually equals to what? It's the actually the area of D F C. Okay, interesting. And then now you know that over here, this area A B C is actually this one, correct? So this twenty five here is actually A B C D. Okay. I have the area of, I clearly now in this case, I already have the area of A, B, C, D. I need, I have this already. Because the area of A, B, C, D is 25. Cool, right? But then I need to know what is the area of E, F, G. How do I find E, F, G? How do I find E, F, G? Okay, we go back to, uh, uh, the, the, Question here, right? The crew is here. If I know that, okay, E, G, C, D, right? Minus D, F, C, I will have what? This one I minus away. Uh, e, F, G. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I shouldn't use this as an example. Sorry, I shouldn't use that as an example. I have actually erased it off. Uh, then let us go back to the figure here. I know that this whole thing here, right? 36 is DFC. So DFC is what? Here, over here, DFC. Am I right? Okay. And I also know that this 20 unit here is EGCD. EGCD. Which is over here. So can you clearly see something? How can I find my uh, EFG? EFG is actually this portion here. EFG, right? My EFG is actually this portion here. Correct. Since I already know that my big, in this case, my big triangle and my, this portion here, the area of this portion here, I can easily find what is this portion here. Am I right? So how I go about doing that? I hope by now you, by now you have figured it out. E, F, G is actually equals to this big triangle. D, F, C minus E G C D. Okay, do I have E G C D? I have E G C D. I have. It's just uh, my D F my D F uh C is actually what my D F C is actually the thirty six, which is this portion, correct? Then my E E G C D ne is actually this portion here twenty. Then that's how I have 16 unit. Actually, to say, just what I did is just to show you that this 16 units is actually my EFG. Okay, now I have everything already. My whole figure, my whole figure, right, is ABCD. ABCD is what? How many unit? 20 at 5. 25 at EFG at 16 units, I will have total of 41 units. Okay, my total of 41 units will give me an area of 
0.4492 cm square. So one unit, I go and find one unit will give me how many? Will give me 12 cm square. But then I want to know what is EFG. What is the area of EFG? EFG is actually what? Here's this portion is EFG, correct? E EFG is 16 unit. 16 unit times 12 cm square will actually give me 192 centimeters square.